Boy, mo better go school. These were the words spoken by my father who came to Hawaii from the Philippines when he was seven years old. He had no education and spoke only Filipino. He met my mom in the sugar cane field, and to impress her, he carried her bundle of sugar cane during the working day. Neither of my parents had much education, but they were extremely loving, caring, and hardworking people. My name is Richard Felipe Pasquale, and I grew up in a family of 10 at Pahamauka Sugar Plantation Camp on the island of Hawaii. As a child, I was carefree and enjoyed being with my family and friends. I especially enjoyed sharing stories, laughing, fishing, playing baseball, and running through clean hung laundry, which didn't sit well with my mom. We lived in a culturally diverse community made up of Japanese, Filipino, Portuguese, Hawaiian, and Chinese. We celebrated Japanese Obon, Hawaiian Kamehameha Day, Chinese New Year's, and Filipino holidays. These festivities were fun and exciting for me growing up and sharing the different food, activities, and customs. I was very fortunate to attend K-12 school in Hawaii because I always had role models to look up to and try to emulate as I progressed through my education. My high school counselor did not encourage me to attend college because my grades were poor, and she insisted that I work for the sugar plantation just as my father did. I felt hurt by her statement and I was determined to prove her wrong. Luckily, my history teacher saw that I had a special talent in athletics and encouraged me to work hard academically and pursue my baseball skills. He explained that with discipline, I would be able to receive a scholarship to a junior college in California. I followed his advice and did receive a scholarship to play baseball for the College of Sequoias in Visalia, California. In California, I progressed from College of the Sequoias to California State University, Fresno, where I received my teaching credential and began teaching at Clark Intermediate in Clovis Unified School District. During my 13 years at Clark, I attended University of Laverne and received my master's in administration. There have been many challenges in my life, for example, when my wife was diagnosed with cancer. My son was so angry that someone who doesn't drink or smoke could get cancer. There are times like this when a family has to come together to love and support the people they care about. I am now the principal at Tehippity Middle School in Fresno. I've seen a lot of positive changes at this school during the past 12 years. We have high school credits in math, intervention classes, parenting classes, a sixth grade academy, after school program, band and orchestra, peer mediation, dare to dream and reach for the stars program. I would like to add more electives to our curriculum such as art, drama, chorus, and woodshop, because this will help students keep their interest in school. There are not many Hawaiians at Tehippity, but many students come from farm working families. Having come from a similar background on the sugar plantation, I hope that my life serves as an example for youth of all cultures, especially those from migrant and farm working families, that you should have a dream and not let anyone say you can't do it. I would echo my father's advice, mo better go school. I would also add that you should work hard and never give up learning.